Hey, how's it going? Uh, getting ready to show you how to install the arcade link for the At Games Legends Ultimate Cabinet so you can play your Steam games and other games from your PC onto the cabinet itself. And I'll be uh, showing a few games as well. So you have to go to this site right here, www.atgames.net slash arcade net slash byog and you scroll down download for windows now the links are going to be in the description of my video the exact link where to get it and the website and if you wanted to run it from the server from the actual cabinet you could pay ten dollars for ten hours eighteen dollars for twenty hours or thirty four dollars for forty hours and you would use their servers to run steam on your own machine uh... but a, a dollar an hour seems a bit much watch we'll click here download windows save it i already saved it but i've shown you the whole thing Arcade Link Installer. You use uh, 7-Zip to unzip it. Extract to... So, I already installed it. So I'm not going to install it. Uninstall, I'm not going to install it again. Let me go here. comes a little PDF file telling you how to do it. Double click this, Arcade Link, Arcade Net Link Installer. Do you want to allow this device to make changes? Yes. Yes. Yes, install. The following applications are using files that need to be updated by the setup. Uh, well, do not close. Do you really want to uninstall virtual audio cable? No. Because I don't want to. I don't think it worked. It didn't work. I'm going to have to do a full install. Yes. Next. Install. No. Yes. An error occurred. Access denied. How do you retry it? Oof. I might have screwed something up. I do not accept the agreement. Uh, it's not letting me click next. I guess I have to accept it. Install Bing Bar? No. Do not install the stupid Bing Bar. They're giving you spyware. Installation complete. Yes. <sighs> Virtual audio cable. Yes. Has already been installed. Yes. Licensing? I accept. Yes. Install. Already present. So, it's pretty easy to install. Yes, I will restart the computer now. No, I will restart. You want to click the yes. But I'm not going to click yes because then I'll have to restart my whole video. Alright. Uh. Hold on a sec. Now I gotta find the file. Arcade net link right there. 
Double click it. Yes, make changes. This loads up. And you have to type in your account name, password, and your computer name. It's required. Now, my computer name is home. So if, if you type in your computer name is home, it's not going to log into my computer. It'll log into your computer because you're using your access name and password. Then you submit and then connect the server. See? Now I'm connected. It's just that easy. Now I'll be back in a, a brief instance and I'll show you uh, some games that are good for it. I'll see you soon. Hey, right now I'm going to show you the At Games Legend Ultimate Arcade game using the arcade link to show Mortal Kombat 10. Let's go. Now, one thing about Mortal Kombat, you have to change the buttons a little bit. It's going to be about 95% good because there really is no way you can use the interact button and you have to rearrange your buttons through the custom setting. You'll still be able to block, you'll still be able to do the flip stance, which is how you do your super move, because you hold down. LB and RB at the same time, which is the Z and the C key. But as far and you, at the throw, you hold down uh, X and Y and push forward. So you still can push forward. You still can use it, but you can't really interact with stuff. Let me just do one single fight. Let's use Scorpion. And I'm going to choose very easy because I don't really want to die. So. But it can work, and you can map the second controller the same way. Come to pay your debt. You have eyes, but will not see. I will see you die. Round one. See? One sec. See, I'm blocking. Throwing. Watch this, here we go. Damn it. Here's a super move. This is the end of you. See, I can do it. Oh, you froze me. Alright. Let me hit start. Let me find something out real quick. Finishing move. Up, up, Y. Alright, let's give it a shot. Finish. 
Yes! See, you can play it. It's just, you can't use the interaction button. I kind of wish at games would put eight buttons on the board. And I'm pretty sure someone would be able to mod it somehow. But, I don't know how to mod it. <laughs> Alright, now let's try a match of Injustice. Now, this game had the same problem that Mortal Kombat 10 has. Because if you look in the controller settings... You won't be able to use an interact button. Because there's only six buttons. So... But, it is still playable. You don't really need an interact button. Scorpion. Superman. I'll put her on easy. Finish him! Finish him! Your soul will burn! Alright, here we go. Begin. He blocked it. Watch this. Check the move list. Combo attacks. So if you if you highlight them, they'll show on the screen. Special moves, bloody spear, hellfire, teleport punch. See that way. No. See? Easy combos. Now I'm going to do a game called Pinball FX3. Um, it's free uh, to download with a whole bunch of games off of Steam until the 8th. So if you're watching this video, you got two days to download it. And it's free. So let me show you real quick.
my collection. All right, so it comes with a whole bunch of games, but you have to unlock them. But if you get the, uh, the pack that you're giving me for this coronavirus, it comes with other games. Mystic Sorcerer's Lair. Fishtails. Marvel. Marvel Venom. Marvel Deadpool. Marvel Civil War. The Star Wars one as well. Star Wars one as well. They also have add ons like Fallout, Skyrim, the other first people, Phantom Guy, Bob the Burger, Archer, Dad, Walking Dead, Portal. So, let me click on Star Wars. Star Wars, the Clone Wars. And the thing is, the weird, the weird thing about this connection is the C button and the C button are your pin pinball clickers. So I would be more comfortable if it was A button C button because then I'll be able to know what the back is, right? But it's single play A galaxy divided. Striking swiftly after the Battle of Geonosis, Count Dooku's droid army has seized control of the major hyperspace lanes, separating the Republic from the majority of its clone army. With few clones available, the Jedi Generals cannot gain a foothold in the Outer Rim as more and more planets choose to join Dooku Separatists. While the Jedi are occupied fighting a war, no one is left to keep the peace. Chaos and crime spread, and the innocent become victims in a lawless galaxy. Collection. Deadpool! Single player and... So long! 
Don't let the door get singleton. It's just gonna be a stand-up fight, sir, or another bug hunt. Single Just tell me one thing, Burke. You're going out there to destroy them, right? Not to study. Not to bring back. But to wipe them out. That's the plan. We have our word on it. Happening, man. This thing happening. Oh, come on. Is there a problem? Screwing around. Happening, man. This isn't happening. We got problems. I'm gonna try Dragon's Lair, but keep in mind, I'm horrible at this game. This is gonna be a really quick playthrough. Alright? Here we go. Kidnapped! Ah! I definitely kidnapped again! Idiot! You better find three miles to the middle of the middle of the middle No, not down.
And now for a game that I really love. It's called Curse of Monkey Island, and you have to use the trackball as a mouse. Played through Steam, and they also make I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get so through this one door, well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, file. slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Blast ye scurvy dogs! Blast ye scurvy Stand dogs! Back. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Blood Nose, Blood Nose. The wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. Hmm. Are you wearing a fake beard? Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood Nose the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, <laughs> it's a highly sophisticated beard weave made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Do you have any literature I could look at? Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audiobooks on Parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like. Keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just Keep like all a pirate. Live. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate deserving blame and censure, but that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really well. very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, You lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you with your own legs. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. You're a failure, You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. One more peep. Peep. Yes, scabrous swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. Word. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I just... Can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even. I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. Oh. He got the hook in his eye. Oh, there, there. There, there. I don't think I've ever seen a cuter pirate. Watch this. Pick it up. Put it in his inventory. <laughs> Put this in my inventory, too.
you combine this with this. <laughs> Take this and you inhale it. <laughs> oh, this made my voice sound funny. <laughs> Let's go outside. See what's up. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. pretty good at this. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> hey, it's Murray. The floating is well, they messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> it's a horrible skull. If I could just get my hands on that gunner. If I could just get my hands, period. Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic Bob? horse. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? All right, then roll. Roll through the gates of hell. Must you take the fun out of everything? You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. You look great. You know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, I am, really. Really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. Uh. Ah. <laughs> Hey, how can you see without eyeballs? How can you see without eyeballs? How can you walk around without a brain? Some things no one can answer. <laughs> Was your mother's father bald too? Was your mother's father bald too? I'm not bald. I just have a really high widow's peak. At least you now you never have to worry about what to wear. At least now you never have to worry about what to wear. Well, I suppose that's true. And accessorizing is really easy. That's also true. And I look good in hats. There you go. I'm going now. Good. Now leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> All right, watch this. You take this. Ah, well, I guess I'll just have to look on the bright side of this. Let's get his arm. Yunk. Hey, that's my arm. Give that back. At least I've lost some weight. Hey! Whoops. So, I got a sword. I'm getting that. No. That oh. doesn't need cutting. Steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. <laughs> now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world. <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> Neptune's navel, that was a close one.
All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hopefully it was a little bit informative. Um, you can run games from Steam. Uh, no, they're not completely perfect. You have to do some button remapping, but certain games can be fun as well. So, all right, until my next video, see you later. Thanks for watching, and please try to like and subscribe. I'm out.